Today's Daily Dose of Math is part of our series of videos about Cavalier Perspective. In the first video, we drew a cube. Drawing a cube is a nice easy assignment because it doesn't matter which face of the cube is on the bottom. It looks the same no matter what. Here we're drawing a right prism. This right prism is 4 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters. And the trick to that is when we look at a drawing of it, we can make two of those dimensions accurate, but the third one is misleading if we make it accurate. With my ruler, I can see that the way I have this right prism drawn, the height is four centimeters. And the width is two centimeters. But the depth is supposed to be three centimeters, but is actually one and a half centimeters. Well, that's good when you're drawing Cavalier perspective. It just makes it harder for someone who looks at the drawing to know exactly what size everything is. The front has two dimensions that can be made to look accurate, and the depth is a third dimension that doesn't look accurate. So what are we going to do when we're asked to draw a right prism in Cavalier perspective? Well, there are several different ways of arranging this right prism for our drawing, and we can be asked to draw more than one of them. For instance, what if we're asked to draw this right prism with all three of the different possible faces being placed at the bottom? So let's do that. Here's a second version of the same right prism. In the first picture, the side on the bottom is two centimeters by three centimeters. But in this second one, the side on the bottom is four by two. And in this third one, the side on the bottom is four by three. So which face is on the bottom changes what it looks like when you draw it. All three of these are valid cavalier perspective drawings of this right prism. Let's put them all on the graph paper. In all three cases, there's a 45 degree angle that is being used to draw the sides that represent the depth. When we look at the rules for Cavalier perspective, all three of these drawings of the right prism are following these rules. One face is parallel to the plane, and in fact two faces are parallel to the plane, the front and the back. The axes for height and width are perpendicular. The depth axis usually forms a 30 degree or 45 degree angle, and you can have the angle that you need in your drawing specified to you in the instructions for the drawing that you were asked to do. In this case, all three of these are drawn with an angle that is roughly 45 degrees. The receding axes are reduced in size to about 50%. So in this one, the receding axis is the three centimeter dimension, and it's represented with one and a half centimeters. Here, the receding axis is the two centimeter dimension and is represented by a one centimeter line. And here, the receding axis is again three centimeters and is represented by one and a half centimeter line. The non-visible edges are drawn with dotted lines. Figures parallel to the plane are rectangles in all three cases. But the other figures, which really are rectangles in reality, are represented with parallelograms. All three of these drawings obey the rules for a cavalier perspective drawing of a right prism, which is four centimeter by two centimeter by three centimeter. Be ready to draw a right prism with cavalier perspective, but be ready to draw it with different faces on the bottom. The right prism drawn with cavalier perspective is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.